I used a paper football to make the last NFL quarterback ranking list you ever need to watch. Before I made this video, I covered and shuffled all 32 NFL helmets. I had no idea which helmet would show up first, next, or last. Blindly ranking NFL quarterbacks is a great challenge, but one that I happily accepted. Aaron Rodgers with the New York Jets showed up first. Now I'm a Packers fan and he's one of my favorite players of all time, but I'm not going to let my cheesehead bias interfere with this list. The current version of Aaron Rodgers is worthy of the fourth spot in this last quarterback ranking. I'm as anxious as anyone to see Aaron Rodgers play more than four snaps in New York. Even if his talents are a little bit diminished, the Jets should still be formidable. Ugh, I always hate seeing the Vikings helmet. No shade towards J.J. McCarthy. Well, maybe a little. But rookies go to the end of the line. Even if you want to haggle over, oh, it's Sam Darnold, not J.J. McCarthy, it's the same answer, okay? And if J.J. McCarthy can't beat out Sam Darnold for the QB1 spot, as a Packers fan, that's all right by me. But any rookie quarterback could have shown up there and I would have put him at the end of the list. That's when the Colts helmet showed up. Real quick, sorry about the focus issue that's going to pop up throughout the video. I'll try to get that fixed for next time. As for Anthony Richardson, he has all the tools he needs to be a dynamic playmaker in the league. I just need to see more. That's why I put him at number seven. After all, the best ability is availability. Hopefully he'll get through this season unscathed. That brings us to helmet number four, the Tennessee Titans, Will Levis. This QB is kind of in the same boat as Anthony Richardson, but I got to thinking which one would I rather start a team with right now if I had to, and that's why I put him just below Richardson. I said it was going to be the last NFL quarterback ranking, not the easiest. I definitely had to keep reminding myself of that as the helmets were revealed. At the halfway point, it was the Rams' Matthew Stafford. This was tough because Matthew Stafford and Aaron Rodgers very similar at this point in their careers. I thought about asking if you'd let me stack the helmets, but I went ahead and put Stafford at five. And hey, that's just me playing the game right now. I didn't feel comfortable putting Matthew Stafford in my top three quarterbacks. Think about who all is still left on the board. Any one of them could have shown up next, but in fact, it was Danny Dimes. I've been watching the Hard Knocks series with the Giants, and it's clear that they know what we all know, that Danny Dimes is not him. So that leaves spot six, three, two, and one. And even if spots seven and eight weren't already filled, I still probably would have put Daniel Jones at the number nine spot. The next helmet in the last NFL quarterback ranking list was the Jared Goff-led Lions. Now, I really had to search the depths of my soul with this selection. Jared Goff at number six didn't really feel right. Jared Goff at number three didn't feel right. But at the end of the day, six ended up feeling less right than number three. He was in the NFC Championship last year after all. I made sure to remind myself of that and the fact that he has been to a Super Bowl. That made me feel okay, not great about the Jared Goff at number three ranking. A lot of the top tier quarterbacks still on the board. One is revealed here, Dak Prescott. To be honest, this was one of the easier decisions of this ranking. Beeline for number two. Dak played at an MVP level in 2023. That left me with number six and number one left empty on this quarterback ranking. Only time will tell if Dak Prescott proves me right and earns that number two spot. The second to last helmet in the last quarterback ranking was the Jacksonville Jaguars. Go ahead and put Trevor Lawrence at number one. Just kidding. Did I get you? If I did, you gotta let me know. Those are the rules. Now before this final attempt with the paper football for this last quarterback ranking, it's a great time for you to tackle that like button. More NFL fans like us will have a chance to see this if you do. Now I'm looking at the rankings and feeling like I could have done better. But I never said anything about this being the best quarterback ranking. But with the last helmet revealed to be the New England Patriots, this list deserves to be the last. Come on, can football just start already?